my name's Ashley Rice and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, I'm super excited to be bringing you five different dinners that I'm gonna be eating throughout this week. I am gonna be recording Tuesday through Saturday. And this is actually a collab with Mariah from the Dairy State Vegan. This is a series on her channel that I am joining in on. And if you have not checked out her channel, you definitely wanna go and do that. She is absolutely wonderful. She is from Wisconsin, and so I feel like neighbors to her basically, and she's so sweet and amazing and like has so many great videos out there for you guys, especially like great, easy, simple vegan recipes. So you definitely wanna to go check out her channel. But I just want to give you guys a head up that this week our meals are not going to be elaborate or crazy or anything like that just simply because I'm in tech week for a show right now so my schedule is really really busy and then my husband is also in a different show that next week is his tech week so they're doing full runs of the show right now and he's like in a really dance heavy show and we're sharing one vehicle at the moment. So our schedules are really hectic right now so we're having to do very processed simple vegan meals at the moment. Uh, later on the week it'll get a little bit more relaxed and we'll be able to show you some other fun things that we're going to be doing but for the first three days it's definitely going to be processed you find them at the store vegan foods and I'm excited to show you what we use whenever we do things like that okay my husband is home he's behind the camera and we are finally able to start cooking dinner because I am done with my work day he just got home and we are gonna be making this Gardein skillet meals it's the chicken Florentine oh yeah Florentino this is something I mentioned in my favorite Gardein's video it only it takes about eight minutes to cook which is good because we have about 18 minutes to cook it and eat it before we need to head out the door um, and so we're gonna go ahead and make this real quick so update I forgot my rehearsal actually starts earlier than it was originally scheduled so I actually have about six minutes to eat this so I'm probably gonna take mine to go so maybe I'll have Lola talk a little bit about the food and why we usually make it but uh, we're making it right now and once it's cooked a little bit longer and it looks a little bit better then I'll show you in a bit Stealing Ashley's recording space to talk about this guy. This one's really nice because it's so easy to cook and you know just because it takes so little time. It's kind of an emergency backup guy. Uh, the sauce really cooks on there nicely even though it's on there only for the last couple of minutes and they did a really good job of mixing the herbs in the sauce and overall I think it's a really good like fake chicken Florentine and especially for being such a quick option, uh, that like less than 10 minutes on the stovetop really does wonders. The thing that takes the most time with this one is thawing out the sauce. And that usually takes about the same amount of time as cooking the first step in the pan, but it can sometimes go a little slower. So I'd recommend starting thawing out the sauce maybe a couple of minutes before you start cooking stuff on the pan. Although if you're in a rush, you can always just have it still be partly frozen, toss it in the pan and sort of break it up with your spoon or whatever you're using. So that was our supper for today and Ashley's eating hers on the road. Okay guys, it is Wednesday night and our dinner is going to be once again Gardein. We are gonna be making their Mandarin Orange Crispy Chicken ones and I don't think we've had these before. We have had these before, JK. And we're gonna throw it in with some rice and then we're also gonna throw in the rest of this frozen broccoli that we have in our freezer. And that's gonna be kind of it, super simple. We'll probably throw a little bit of a sauce in there maybe. We'll see, I'll, I'll update you once it's done, but that's what we're gonna start with. We probably did a little bit too much rice, uh, just, yeah. just a little bit. Because of that, there's not a ton of sauce, and so I, I am gonna be adding a little bit of vegan mayo to it. 
I know you're thinking I'm weird, but here's the thing. If you've ever eaten at Osaka's, the yummy sauce is basically mayonnaise. Like they just add a bunch of stuff to it, but it's basically mayonnaise and I was obsessed with it. And so now I just use like a little bit of vegan mayo whenever I have rice to kind of like make that creation. It's really fatty, but I don't care because <laughs> it tastes good. <laughs> And I'm gonna be out in the heat all night, so I'm gonna sweat it all off. But we're just gonna wolf that down and then head off to rehearsal. Okay guys, it is Thursday and for dinner, we were actually eating something a little bit different than we thought we were going to. For lunch, I met up with Lowell during his lunch break and we went over to Jay Selby's, which is an all vegan restaurant over in St. Paul. And we actually got this, what is this called Lowell? The Philly. The Philly. Um, and they use BioLife cheese. I'm not sure what they use for the meat, but I think it's just like a bunch of shredded like vegan deli meat and some tater tots. And I was actually pretty full before I got there. And so this was mine for lunch and ended up not eating it. So basically we're just gonna split this. We'll probably have snacks during or after rehearsal too, depending on how hungry we get. But um, I usually only eat half of my sandwich and half of my tots anyway. So I think that's gonna be a good meal for me. So well, I'm not so sure you might need a little bit more. I'll be fine. But we basically have to heat this up, eat it super quick, and then run out of the house to get to our prospective rehearsals. Today is my final dress, and then I open tomorrow, so I like gotta book it. So that is what we were eating for Thursday night. been making a video for way too long everything seems to be going wrong and we are eating calzones tonight which is what I'm making a video for if you want to see that video I'm gonna link it up in an eye right there hopefully it turns out really nice but like I've had several things die on me several batteries have died the light that I have has died like everything's dying so I'm a little nervous about this video so we'll see how it turns out but we're gonna eat those tonight so when it is completely finished because we just had to take another break um, I will let you know but here is the yummy yummy filling with some moringa in it. We are also in the middle of making some cornbread, some bean cornbread for uh, a cast party that I'll be at tonight. So that's what my hubby is making. Mixing it up here. But hopefully <laughs> the battery is charged now for my light guys so we can go back to recording them. video and my husband and I are actually gonna go out and eat today. Today was one of our days that we actually had the whole day off. I'm in a company right now that has three shows going on and they're all in rep and basically that just means they're all performing at the same time and tonight is the performance of the show that I am not in so I do get tonight off which is really really exciting. We did some stuff around the house and so to celebrate all the things that we got done we're actually gonna go pick up our first lawnmower which is really exciting. We got it off of Facebook market so we're gonna go do that. And then we're gonna head over to Moto E, which is an amazing place to go in Minneapolis if you're ever in the area, totally worth checking it out. Their uh, tofu buns are amazing. I'm really hoping we'll get um, rooftop seating, but we will see, I don't know. It depends how full it is, um, but I'll show you some footage there of our food in the evening. And so I'm super excited that we can just like go out and relax tonight because this week has been super hectic and stressful and busy and like, it'll be nice to have some really good food. Okay guys, quick update. We're actually heading to dinner now. It is 6.57. I didn't tell you times on any of the other ones, but uh, we just picked up our new lawnmower in the back right there. You can see it. Also, it's right by Eureka Compass Foods, which is like basically like a vegan bodega sort of. It's like a tiny one that is in St. Paul, Minnesota. And I've been meaning to go there for forever, but the times that we were gonna go, he was closed. We went today and guess what he carries? I am so excited. I'm gonna be getting this way too often now that I can like get it in person rather than having to order it online, but I'm like so pumped. If you've not seen uh, my videos on these, I'll link that up in an eye right there. But mm. we also got this like, Nice yeah, croissant. I'm excited to try this one. He was uh, talking up a cheese that because we're about to head to supper, we couldn't pick up the cheese itself. Yeah, but not today at least. Um, but it was at the Chevra goat cheese. Yeah. And I gave it a smell, even though I couldn't taste it right now. And the smell, I'm omni, not vegan. Yeah. And the smell was right. Like it was right, not close to right. It was right for goat cheese. And so this croissant has some of that in it. So that's part of our supper. We'll be trying it on channel. Very soft looking croissant. 
Uh, let me try and get the cheese. Mmm. Put the inside a little bit. Try and get the inside. It's a bit more of a fluffy kind of croissant. Mmm. Mmm. That's yummy. I don't think I got much of the cheese in that first go. Mm. It's got a strong flavor. Oh, yeah. That definitely got the, like, tang of the goat cheese. Mm -hmm. This is really yummy, though. Oh, yeah. It's a tasty croissant. Mm -hmm. Croissant. Croissant. <laughs> okay, so we're going to finish that up, and then we're going to head over to Moto E, and I'll show you what we get. and I have a ton of leftovers. This stuff was so good, you guys. Um, it did have mushrooms in it, which normally I'm not a huge fan of, but I found out recently that when they're cooked, I don't have as big of a problem with it, and they're really good for me, so I eat them anyways. But I absolutely love Moto E. They are so amazing. So if you're ever in the Twin Cities of Minnesota, you have to check them out. They're so good, especially if you love Asian food. Like, so delicious but that is the five dinners that I ate over the last five days sorry it wasn't like anything amazing or crazy it's just we were really really busy this week and my next week is actually going to relax a little bit Lowell's is not he actually has tech week next week so it's still gonna be kind of busy but this is kind of what it looks like when we are in theater production so I'm glad I could show you how crazy busy it can get and I hope you enjoyed this video as well if you have not checked out Mariah's video go see what she ate for her five meals I am super excited because her last video from last week had some like really yummy stuff in it so I'm super excited to see what she ate this week as well also let me know if you want to see more content like this on my channel I think it'd be fun to do like a five lunches five breakfast and maybe I'll team up with Mariah for those as well but other than that if you are new to my channel I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and click the little bell that is down below also make sure to give this video a thumbs up and other than that I'll see you guys next time bye